welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question turtle fingers count the values of k so you are given three positive integers a b and l it can be shown that there always exists a way to choose non negative integers k x and y such that l equal to k into a ki power x b ki power y your task is to find min, uh, number of distinct possible values of k across all such ways so we are given here a b and l so i have now a b and l which are 2 5 and 20 so what i need to check is how many possible values of k can be there For these values of a and b, such that l equal to k a to the power x b to the power y. Now, to check this, you can have possible combinations of power. So we can have combinations of x and y. So simple combination would be putting it zero zero. Which would give us k equal to l. Then we can have zero one, one zero, one one, and so on. So like this, we have possibly six number of ways in which we can get the value of k. And to see see the detailed explanation of this, you can. See the explanation of this test case, which is given below. So now, as we want to calculate the distinct values of k, so we need to understand that we need to check here two things. First of all, l modulus a to the power x. b to the power y this value must be zero why because it is in product with k and if this is not dividing l completely then we can't have the value of x and y which is having this number so suppose our l is 20 and i take 2 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1 so here it is completely divisible hence k is possible for this value now in any case it is not possible then We need to figure it out, and hence we can't have the value of that k to be included. Also, one more thing. As we need to incorporate a value k, so our l must be greater than the product a to the power x, b to the power y. or we can have it equal to this also as in this case will be equal to 1 so to understand it more better we have the equation l equal to k a to the power x and b to the power y so for maximum value of x means the maximum power which we can give to a let's find out that so for this we will put y equal to 0 so we will neglect this quantity and we will write l equal to and let k equal to 1 because it can be the minimum one so k equal to 1 y equal to 0 so this is also 
b to the power 0 is 1 so l equal to a to the power x and we take log on both sides so ln of l equal to x ln of a and hence x would be ln of l divided by l so this is the maximum power of a which can be done similarly we can calculate y by replacing a with b because same procedure will be followed for that so after get, getting this x and y what we need to do just we need to take a to the power x after calculating x and y at each step we will do a to the power x and b to the power y so for i in range x and for j in range y it would be here a to the power i and b to the power j because this is the maximum power which we are getting so it can be ranged from 0 to x and similarly 0 to y so for each of them we will calculate this and after calculating it we will name it as p which is our product and now we need to check l is greater than equal to p or not if it is then we also need to check our l modulus p is zero or not so you can put and condition here if both of these conditions satisfy then we add the product to our set so here we will be using a set let it be s so i will add s dot add p because we need distinct values of k hence we are using set here and at last we will return the length of s which will give us the output of distinct values of k as we have distinct values of product here so we will have distinct values of k also so i hope you all understand this solution now let's look at the code quickly so this is our code we are taking maximum value of x maximum value of i and after that taking set then for i in range loop well a plus 2 to loop well of b plus 2 why we are taking this because in any case if integer value is giving us the floor value so the last value is left out and as you know as the range goes from if in python the range grows from 0 to n so here n is neglected and the loop runs till n minus 1 hence we are having here plus 2 so that loop runs till loop value of a plus 1 and same here so we will calculate our a and b to the power a to the power x b to the power y multiply both of them and check if the product is greater than l is greater than equal to the product l is dividing whole product if yes then we will add the product to the set and the set of product gives us the set of k and hence its length would be our answer so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching